Right folks, good morning and welcome to a manic, totally manic bank holiday weekend up at Scotch Corner, just off the A1M. I have genuinely never seen Scotch Corner as busy as this. It's just crazy. They've even got security guys on patrolling traffic. So the plan today, I'm meeting up with Roger, who I think you might have seen on a previous video. I'm uh, going up to uh, the highest pub in England, if not in the UK, Tanhill Inn up at uh, Swaledale, Richmondshire, or Richmond. Haven't been there for a while, mostly because the weather's been pretty crap, but uh, today and uh, for the next few days actually, we've got some good weather scheduled. So. Uh, all be well, I will get there, get out of this junction here. My god, this is chaotic. I've genuinely never seen it as busy as that there at all. Right, get over here, get me bearings. I've got the address or the uh, location for Tan Hill punched into the sat nav, so I ain't gonna get lost. Just get past all these uh, this crazy traffic. Fought my way to the front. And we're off. So 20 miles give or take on here, and then I take a left, and then you're just a stone's throw away from the pub. So if you've all heard about the Tan Hill Inn, and maybe you've never been there before, stick with me and I'll give you a guided tour once I get there, providing there's actually any space to park up outside. I'm sure there will be. So uh, I'll catch up with you in a few moments when I'm getting off this dual carriageway. Oh, I'm glad to get off this road. It's quite breezy. We're very exposed up here and it's such a boring, tedious road. The A66. Just under four miles and I take a left and get off here and then get down into the country. That'll be much better. Here we go. God's country. As some people call it. This is more like it. It hasn't taken long to get here, to be fair. I think, uh, despite the fact it's a bank holiday weekend and the road's been busy, traffic's been flowing pretty good on the A1M coming up. And then, uh, as I said earlier, where you saw me setting off from, at Scotch Corner, onto the A66. Bit busy around that area. Well, I say a bit busy, manic. But this is okay now. So, there'll be a few cars, I think a few people and visitors at uh, the Town Hill, only to be expected. I mean, it's a popular place anyway at the best of times. But on a bank holiday weekend, it'll be even busier. But uh, it says, the sat nav says I'll get there just after midday. So we might be lucky and just meet, uh, not meet, mixed, start again. <laughs> I might get there and miss a lot of the traffic. which should be good and also a lot of the uh, visitors and maybe get an order of food in earlier 
so I quite often come in this way sometimes I'll come in via hose but uh, I want to go back via hose instead and I thought there's no point in going there twice so I just uh, take the most direct route up the A1M and then come in from it this side Quite sure where that little track goes down there. I must have been on it at some point. Lambing season at the moment, so you've loads of little baby lambs out. They don't tend to get out onto the road. So not too bad. Occasionally you'll see the odd sheep on the road. But uh, part for the course up here. But beautiful views over there to the right if you can see that, if the camera's picking that up. Quite clear skies. Forecast today is dry with very light winds. So let's hope they've got that right. I don't want to get wet today. And I brought my drone with me, so it would be nice to try and get some drone footage up at uh, the Tan Hill Inn. But uh, I'll see how that goes. It can be breezy up there, even on the good days, to be fair. But uh, hopefully, I can get the drone up. I remember coming up here once on my Kawasaki GTR 1400. Uh, with a friend of mine at the time, Charlie, and he was on the GTR, I think, as well. And uh, they've got tyre pressure sensors on them, and I suddenly saw my uh, TPS from the rear tyre just getting lower and lower, and I thought, God, don't tell me I've got a puncture. And uh, sure enough, got to the pub, and it was uh, reading quite low, and I did indeed have a puncture. But thankfully, there is a phone signal up there. I managed to ring the AA, or whoever I was with, get them organised and then we just uh, went in and a nice pub lunch and a drink and just nicely timed by the time we'd finished that uh, recovery people came and they were able to uh, repair the puncture which got me home nice and safe I think they just um, what did they do they was that a tubeless tyre yeah it was a tubeless tyre so they just plugged it yeah but uh, yeah it got me home okay and I think it was uh, flat as a pancake then the following day so I had to get a proper vulcanised repair doing, done on it but yeah even in remote places like this you can still get your ROC and your AA people to come out and sort you out and I might just stop here just show you the view over to the right I've got plenty of time. What time is it now? Yeah, still got loads of time. Roger's uh, hoping to get there for about half twelve. Uh, sat nav says I'll get there at three minutes past, so plenty of time. What a beautiful view. Trees in the foreground have obviously been felled. Some high trees or tall trees just in the background there. Just in that bit of a valley. And as far as you can see nothing but peace and tranquility and a biker okay, no I'm just uh, stretching my back and just admiring the view Not bad, is it? yeah have you come from the pub yeah well I haven't been in no but is it that neck is it busy is it busy yeah yeah I thought it might be yeah. so right okay have a good day take care So that's the biking community here in the UK. Excellent. You know, in the day, he's just seen me stood at the side of the road and just as a matter of courtesy, he's just stopped to see if I was all right, which obviously I was. And then we had a right good natter. So yeah, so he's come over from Rochdale. So yeah, three miles away I am apparently, according to the sat-nav. 
Oh yeah, and uh, this uh, Garmin Zumo, Zumo, Z Garmin Zumo XT, still going absolutely perfect, no issues at all. Uh, I've absolutely hand on heart, no regrets in getting it and getting rid of that uh, Garmin Montana, which was an absolute bloody nightmare to work with. I mean, I've heard people say that in wet weather, when it's raining, the raindrops falling on the screen can affect it and sort of start giving it false readings as if somebody is pushing near or touching the screen with a glove. I can honestly say I've never experienced that. And I have ridden this bike many a time in heavy rain. As I'm sure you'll be aware from watching some of the videos and the fact that we live in England. So if I can discreetly do some filming at the Tan Hill Inn, just to, I don't want to start sticking uh, my GoPro in people's faces while they're having the pub lunches and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, if it's, uh, you know, appropriate to do so, I'll try and have a quick walk through the pub with my GoPro. And then uh, anybody who hasn't been here, and in particular some of the overseas visitors, uh, or overseas viewers rather, who watch my videos, you will be able to just see what the pub's like. So just entering the Yorkshire Dales National Park and welcome to Richmond Shire. And I think over there, if you can see it, there's possibly just the roof of the pub over there. Like that old Australian advert from years ago. Oh, I can see the pub from here. So the postcode of um, Tan Hill Inn, DL116ED. Delta Lima 116 Echo Delta. If anybody wants to have a look on Google Maps and uh, see how uh, practical it is for them to get there from their home address. And here we are. Coming into view. Quite busy as I thought it would be. Alright, I shall just stick the bike here, I think. Good a place as any. Right, I don't know uh, what bike Roger's got at the moment, so it could be here or it may not be. But uh, I'll just turn the bike round and I'll come back to you in due course. Okay, so as promised, I'll give you a quick guided tour to show you some of the bikes outside first. The accommodation here is quite pricey, but uh, the camping's pretty good. I think it's about 10 quid a night. That's per tent, not per person. And you've got beautiful views. Like so. Got one lone camper.
Do you want me to move my bike so you've got a bit more room? Yeah, so what? Don't hit it. <laughs> Can I ask what, what's the significance of the three the same? Are you doing some filming for Porsche or just... Uh, no, just... It just happened. The shortest story. A summary. Just tell me the we, tale. We did a banger rally to Croatia about 10 years ago. You buy a car, 150 quid, decorate it, and then drive around Europe, do stupid things, raise money right. for charity. Right, yep. And then we um, bought a really shitty Citroën ZX because it was all we could get. Uh -huh. and we martinied it. Driving to Italy, everyone loved it. Smiling, thumbs up. So yeah, yeah. Then we um, martinied some MGFs, and now we've just traded a bit. So. Right, very good. Yeah, just yeah. that mischief. Very good. And I like the number plates, all uh... 250 quid. Say again? 250 quid. Why? For the plates? Yeah. Bloody hell, you did well the there. 80, included the 80 pound assignment fee. Right. Somebody missed a bargain or an opportunity there, didn't they? Right about 13 years ago. Right. right. I had the number plate five years before I had the car. Ah, uh, right. Very nice. Right, have a good day. Right. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, uh, <laughs> you've got more jobs in there. I'll come to video you, bro. Yeah. Hey, up. Mel! Yeah. Hi, Roger. Thank you again for coming. Good to see you. Yep. Yeah. Yep, no worries. <laughs> right, right safe.
Right, so there we go, we're leaving uh, the Tannehill Inn up at Richmondshire. So I'm going to take a left here, I came in straight on from uh, that road straight on, but yeah, I'm going to take a left here, which should drop me down towards Hawes. So I'm just going to enjoy the, enjoy the scenery, beautiful day, very good, I enjoyed catching up with Roger, haven't seen him for quite a while, I just sort my cuff out. Yeah, I haven't seen Roger for quite a while, could even be the best part of a year. And uh, so yeah, we're going to try and catch up again uh, in the very near future. The weather's improving so that shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, quite a few bikers up there and some car enthusiasts in various types of machines. And uh, there was three guys there in Porsches which hopefully you've seen that in the video. So I'm not too sure what time it is, but I'm not in a rush to get home anyway. Soaking up the scenery. A bird of prey there hovering. I'm just gently drifting with the wind streams or the air streams. I love the smell of the country around here. All the animals, typical farm smells. So we're coming up to a really uh, sharp descent here. With some proper switchbacks on it. Make sure I'm in the right gear. Might even just take it down into first. Looking through the bend, no issues. This is the worst one. Make sure there's nothing coming up, because you've generally got to go quite wide here, because there's a hell of a drop there. The camera won't be picking that up, but it's very severe. Right, which way is Hawes? Keldon Reith, Kirby Stephen, uh, right, so I think it's going to be right, isn't it? B6270. Now, I've forgotten the name of these falls here, but I might just try and uh, get some drone footage of them because they're quite impressive at the moment. There's a lot of water falling. That's quite spectacular. Right, let's see if I can just get some uh, decent footage here. So I'm going to head into Hawes, as I think I've already mentioned, and then uh, fill the bike up there at the petrol station, get some cheap fuel in the beast. But we'll see what happens between here and there. It hasn't been a bad day though. Traffic's been heavy in one or two places, but not too bad. Better than I expected, and I've seen it busier than that at Tan Hill before as well. I wouldn't say it was uh, rammed with people. Staff seem to be dealing very well with it. When we were ordering our drinks and food, and we didn't have to wait long for it either. So they've obviously got their act together, because I've been there once before, when I think I had to wait nearly an hour for some food. Seem to be riding in tandem with a couple of other bikers. Whether they're going to go the same way as me to Hawes or not, I don't know. 
but if they do they'll probably lose me quite quickly because they seem to be on big sports bikes where's my turn off it's coming up here in 0.3 tenths of a mile I think I've got some crawling around in my helmet as well, like a bug. That'll teach me to put my helmet on the ground, in the grass. I don't know whether these two folks are together, but if they are, this uh, biker immediately in front of me is showing quite a bit of restraint. Seems how his mate's gone. I'd love to get the drone flying down there, but I think it's a bit too breezy. Maybe one of the other drones I've got, a heavier one. Oh, we've got a cattle grid. I never really like these uh, steel cables on the side of the road. I don't know how much they cost and whether it's a cheaper option than other types of fencing but I would imagine if you hit those at speed, if you, if you came off your bike it could cause you some serious injuries it would stop a car okay but what they'd be like with a biker, I have no idea I'll try not to think about it Breathtaking views, very deep valleys there. Very inconsiderate. And a left at the bottom. Three quarters of a mile to Hawes. That was a nice little route. Even though I got a bit waylaid initially. And then a right here. folks I shall wrap the video up there thanks very much indeed if you watched it to the very end um, you may have seen snippets of the same footage of what I've just done on some of my other videos because uh, some of those roads are my favorite roads but uh, yeah I just thought I'd uh, invite you along to join me up to the Tan Hill on this Easter weekend um, so I'll probably put this video out in a couple of weeks so you may see another video before that you see this one but uh, if you like what you've just seen, please leave a comment down below, give us a thumbs up, so take care and I shall catch up with you all on my next video. Ta-ra for now!